can understand the increase in bus fares anyways if we're now carrying full capacity so why is there an increase in the transport fare it makes no sense yesterday somebody who texted in was talking about complicity on the part of the government and the nurtw it looks like the government is looking the other way in this regard i mean this is one of the things that's really biting hard on nigerians i think the government should actually step in and do something let's regulate the price yesterday, of, yesterday of i was talking to one commercial driver yesterday Ordinarily from Agege mm -hmm. to Oshodi is 200 naira. Now it's 400 naira. Double. And fine, they make it 2-2. Two, two. But when they get to the halfway, see passengers, they want to, and I told that particular one that, I don't know about another bus that I enter, but this one, as we have 2-2 two, two on it, then one person at the front, this is how we are going to get to Oshodi. I have to change my seat to the door. That we are not going to more than the numbers here. You say 400, no problem. But you are going to now increase the number of the people on the street. Mm. No, if the government cannot take that charge, I will take that charge for that government. Mm. Immediately I dropped at Osho. The man said, eh, I want you wala. It's what that should be. But that is that is you, one person out of so and that is know, the angle yeah. that I mm. think the Lagos State government, particular, mm. the Ogun State and Co. The kind of rates they put on it is not so that you understand now. Not it's much. not so that but in Lagos State, you know every law you do on transportation. Down for drivers, you are making it for them. They are making, I'm very sure. So that is the angle that legacy government, if they really love residents and the poor people, they need to talk to the NURTW chairman, mm. MC Oluomo, to talk to all those drivers. Maybe it's a high time that government should even place costs on the route and let it be effective. So that if I know that this place is 100 naira mm -hmm. and somebody is trying to take it 200 naira, I should have a place I can send a text to or call. Cut the number of so that particular vehicle because so that by the time we do that, we are talking about government, government, government. The one that we are doing for our service, another thing. Do you know that during this COVID-19 period, any commodity that is scarce, that people cannot buy at hand, anybody that has that kind of um, product, it will increase it. It will tell you COVID-19 as if Fuel did not increase. Mm -hmm. Thank God that they even increased a little. But we know that they drop it one time mm -hmm. and they brought it back. Mm -hmm. It has not affected anything. But we ourselves, we are the problem ourselves. Until we change our attitude. Yeah, I think something needs to be done about transportation fare because this is a time when people are losing jobs, uh, salaries are being cut. Uh, and then transportation fare is on the increase. How do you want people to cope with that? Please, we're begging the government. Let's take a look at these issues and see if we can regulate, you know, uh, the fares uh, in terms of transportation.